The holiday of Festivus is meant for family. You gather with your loved ones and explain so patiently how every single one of them's a millstone round your neck. Their habits are appalling and their presents are all dreck. But Festivus is not the same without your other kin. You can't perform the feats of strength without someone to pin. There's no one to complain to, your plans will hit a snag. Without your family or friends it really is a drag. My dad went back to jail last night for breaking his parole. I'm all alone this Festivus, so I'm polishing my pole. My girlfriend sprained her ankle when she kicked a field goal. I'm all alone this Festivus, so I'm polishing my pole. My aunt's down with pneumonia, my mom's out on patrol. My cousin Sue's gone hunting, and Mel prefers to stroll. There are dozens of excuses, some don't add up on the whole. But I'm all alone this Festivus, so I'm polishing my pole. So I plan to go out fishing, but it really isn't working. As I gather up the tackle, I just feel like a jerkin' off a head there on the wall. I can see the peel and plaster, though I try to do it harder. I can never seem to masturbate in all the hooks it's hard to do alone. I need assistance here with all the tools I own, and isn't it a crying shame? That I have no better plans, but please don't think that I'm unmanned. I have lots of spunk and time upon my hands. Though my grandma sent a sweater, and I really ought to thank her, the awful fact remains that I'm just a lonely wanker. My uncle's van got totaled, he relied on cruise control. I'm all alone this Festivus, so I'm polishing my pole. My neighbor is too busy working on a casserole. I'm all alone this Festivus, so I'm polishing my pole. Oh, I'm all alone this Festivus and polishing my pole.